Hello! As many of you have probably noticed, there are a lot of new pictures up of all the different sets and stuff of the Dawn Treader. For people like Glumpuddle, this is the beginning of one and a half years of glorious overanalyzation. But for people like me, this is the beginning of the curses. As in saying that a particular change is going to be made in a movie long before the movie comes out and then having it actually coming true. A lot of people hate people who make curses. But, you know, it sounds like a lot of fun. I want to try it. Alright, um, curse number one. Eustace Clarence Scrub's name is changed to Eustace Clarence Scrub because his parents bought the assembly kit at Walmart and because it was cheaper they were able to get the tall unit but this always made Eustace mad because he felt weird being taller than his cousins who were older than him so he was always looking out for revenge on nobody in particular. Curse number two. At the Dark Island, a bunch of evil skeletons armed with clubs climb into the Dawn Treader and Rapid Chief starts attacking them, but Lucy is smart and prays to Oslo, who appears in the form of an albatross and drops a rock in the deck of the Dawn Treader, startling the skeletons and making them accidentally drop their weapons into the ocean so they surrender, but Rapid Chief will not find number man, so he goes down in the hole and finds some weapons and hands them to the skeletons so he feels justified when he stabs them in the head! Curse number three. Ramadou's daughter has a beard. <laughs> To the 27th episode of a Minotaur's Journey. If you've been around Narnia Web at all recently, you know that there is a just a ton of news everywhere. I don't really have time to talk about them at all. And you know, it's kind of hard for me to think of things to say about them. You know, one of the reasons I started this vlog in the first place, which was exactly one year ago as a matter of fact, um, was because uh, Glumpuddle had just recently um, posted his 92nd episode of Chronicles of Narnia fan, and he basically said goodbye. I'm not going to do videos for Voyage of the Dawn Treader, at least not regular videos, at least. And everybody was really bummed out then that they missed Glumpuddle. And I had always been a big fan of Glumpuddle's Chronicles of Narnia fan, so I thought hey, um, now might be a good time to start one. Because I know my videos can never be as good as Glum Puddles, but hey, at least I can get my thoughts out there and stuff. But looking back on it, a lot of my episodes have really not been about deep analysis like Glum Puddle or anything. So I mean, I've, I've always felt that um, the lacking part of my videos has really been uh, the... Um, the in-depth analysis because I haven't really been able to give that much in-depth I'm sort of basically what I'm getting at here is um, from now on um, none of my videos will ever have any actual real analysis in them they're, they're just going to be all weird stuff yeah you know like when the board of the Dawn Treader trailer comes out I'll probably put um, a real analysis uh, on my other Amanachar Froslin channel but on this channel, pretty much, it's just going to be... It's not just that I, I feel inferior to Glum Puddle's analysis that I'm deciding to do this, but it's also that um, now that the news is finally starting to pick up, uh, school is about to start for me again, and I'm going to have a really busy school year, and um, I mean, I, I'm always envious of how Glum Puddle can make his videos and, like, 20 or 30 minutes, you just get, you just goes, think, blah, 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 think, stick intro on, upload. For me, it's a whole big, long process, because I always, like, put extra, like, weird little things everywhere. And those take a long time to think of and prepare and everything. So, during the school year, the only way for me to have uh, regular, up-to-date videos on the news would be to do nothing but analysis. But I wouldn't really like that, because part of the reason I, I've had so much fun making these videos and all this stuff is because um, it's kind of an outlet for me to do other things. And some people seem to really like that stuff, so you know, I, I want to continue doing that sort of thing, but I don't think I'm going to be able to ha uh, be able to have regular videos up to date on the news, because, I mean, th this past year there's been barely any news, but... 
Um, it's been quite a bit of a struggle for me to get actual videos up every time news stories come out. So I'm just imagining when the news stories really pick up, I'm just going to be swamped in news. Like, oh, I'm going to do all these vlogs on this and blah, 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 blah. So, anyway, if you were looking for in-depth analysis on Narnia, this is no longer the place to look for it. I'm just going to leave that up to Glumpuddle and all the other people who have been doing Narnia vlogs over the past year. So, you can look there. I really would like to give out a little shout out to all the other people who have been doing Narnia vlogs because it's, it's really nice to be able to watch other people's Narnia vlogs. I think this was kind of Glumpuddle's original vision and like, hey, wouldn't it be so cool if like four or five people were doing it for for the Dawn Shredder? So here's a little shout out to all you people who have been doing Narnia vlogs. Prince Rillian! Adventures with a Cyclops! Edmund of Narnia! Vicky5678! Passing the lamppost! Monkey Musings! And of course, Glumpuddle. But, of course, I would also like to thank um, every last person who has left a nice comment on uh, my videos. So, I created this little something as a thank you. Five more drops. Mummy mustard. Probably not Terry. Oh man, what's going on? The blue ninja has discovered that you don't want to be a blue ninja. But, but, but I'm a I'm a I'm a minotaur, not a blue ninja. What was that sound?
a sane man. I'll take your hand. No, no! Uh, uh. Yummy. Ah!